Hi everybody, this review is going to be a review on the Tangle Teaser. I bought this because it was recommended to me by a couple of long-haired ladies, so here it is. I bought it off eBay for about £7, which I think is about $11, so it's not too bad. It's not going to break the bank or anything. And you can see it's kidney-shaped and about the same size as a kidney as well, uh, about 5 inches by 3 inches. And um, a couple of ladies had complained that it's too large to fit in your hand. Um, I find it fine. I have gigantic hands. I can span a tenth on the piano, so it it's just fine for me. It's quite ergonomic, you know, it fits nicely into your hand if you are right-handed. However, if you're a left-handed person like myself, you will find it a little bit awkward. But we should be used to that by now, shouldn't we? So here it is close up. You can see that mine is oyster green. So many people get the pink one and like the purple sparkly one. And although I love pink, there is more to life than pink. So I really like how kind of pearly this one is. This is what it looked like when I got it in the mail. The box is small and snug. I come from a family where we keep all our boxes and you know, it's, it's good to protect the teeth from getting all garbled and bent and everything. The one thing that really annoyed me when I first read this box is you can see loose the tangles, not the hair. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I am such a huge snob when it comes to misspellings and typos like that. Um, if I saw this in a store, I would actually be less likely to buy it because the guy in charge of marketing and packaging this brush obviously didn't care enough about the product to edit it carefully. So thankfully, I did not see this box before I bought this online. So on the inside here, you can see that the brush comes out, obviously, and on the back of this little uh, Union Jack flag. It has a, a pamphlet to show you how to use it on wet hair, dry hair, extensions, etc. Here are the teeth close up. Let me rotate that for you so you can see. And you can see that the teeth are firm but flexible. They have a similar feel to my detangling paddle brush right here, except um, you can see that the paddle brush has little knobs at the end and actually each one of these little things has like a seam on it whereas this here nothing is seamed on it it's completely smooth so no seams in the plastic here means no shearing of the outer cuticle of the hair shaft which is a good thing the longer teeth are half an inch long and the shorter teeth are only about a quarter inch long so if you have really thick hair you will have to divide it into sections to get this brush through. In some other reviews some people have complained that it makes a really terrible a ripping like noise and that you can just take off the top here to um, get it to stop basically resonating inside the chamber so you can just use it like that. Um, I don't have a problem with the noise because I can tell the difference between this and the sound of hair snapping, so it doesn't really bother me. So here's a close-up of how it works on my hair. Obviously, everybody knows how to use a hairbrush. Um, I'm going to put examples of using the Tangle Teaser on wet hair and then on dry hair over here so you can see how quickly it works. Um, in terms of how my scalp feels when I'm using it, I have a little bit of a sensitive scalp, um, but this actually gives an amazing scalp massage. Um, it actually feels really, really nice on my scalp. In terms of detangling, it tugs my hair just slightly less than my paddle brush and far less than any comb I've ever used. If you've seen my past videos, you know how much I hate combs. Um, how my hair feels after brushing it dry, it is slightly fluffier than if I were to use a comb, but it's soft and you know I can run my fingers through it, which is kind of hard for um, very wavy haired girls such as myself. Also, the base of this brush doesn't have any rubber in it like my old paddle brush, so it doesn't give me any static or flyaways. In terms of long-term results, the Tangle Teaser claims to give you smoother, shinier hair by um, flattening the cuticles on, on the outside of your hair shaft. It's also supposed to give you um, more manageable hair by you know creating less damage to your hair than your normal brushing routine, which will lead to fewer split ends and so you can grow your hair more easily. I'm not sure about any of these claims because I've only had this for a few days, but I intend to keep using this every day for the next um, six months to a year, I suppose, and then I will report back and tell you how I'm doing and if I've noticed any other um, 
extra damage to my hair. Um, I'm going to try and keep the rest of my hair regime pretty much the same as it has always been. Um, I have had a few women actually express concern to me that the Tangle Teaser actually causes more split ends than their regular brush. And I mean, just looking at this, I don't really see how that's possible, but um, you know, I'm not going to completely rule it out. It might be possible. Um, but we'll see in six months, right? Um, but I do have a theory that because this claims that you can um, use it right from the root of your hair down to the ends, and because it doesn't toggle on the hair quite as much as um, other brushes or a comb, then maybe girls are more confident to just really rip it through their hair and be more aggressive with their hair. And if you misuse any product, even if the product is a really excellent product, it's still going to do damage to your hair. I mean, you can gently brush your hair with a comb with seams in it, which would be basically like being gently mauled by a tiger, or you can really aggressively brush your hair with this, which is being like aggressively mauled by a kitten. But either way, you're causing damage to your body, right? Um, so I'm going to continue using this and we'll see how it goes. So this is the end of my review for the Tangle Teaser. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them below. Or if you have one of these and you want to add anything to this review, please post a video response or just leave a comment. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.